We begin tonight with more local tributes to U.S. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. The 87-year-old is being remembered as a trailblazer for all. The death continues to stun much of the nation, including many who say her career inspired them. Roger Williams University law professor Emily Sack met Ginsburg years ago and shares her story with our Brittany Schaefer. Well, Ruth Bader Ginsburg died from cancer at 87 years old Friday. Professor Emily Sack tells us the Supreme Court justice was a big inspiration to her. Roger Williams University law professor Emily Sack calling Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg a model in the fight for equality. She truly uh, just outworked and outthought and out strategized her opponents and that permitted her to make so much progress uh, and she frankly is an inspiration not just to women but but to men as well. When Sack was in law school, she worked for the Women's Rights Project at the ACLU, which Bader Ginsburg co-founded in 1972. She tells us that experience changed her life. I'm not uh, exaggerating to say that that experience really changed the whole direction of my career and her work um, both legally but also just as a human being truly inspired me to, to go on to work in the field. While in private practice, Bader Ginsburg won five cases involving women's rights before the Supreme Court. Sack describes the 27-year high court veteran as a relentless fighter with a unique strategy. Bader Ginsburg would often argue men's rights to ultimately benefit women as well. She had a very sophisticated strategy as a litigator in trying to win uh, rights for women uh, legally. She started with some cases where it was actually men that were being excluded from certain rights or abilities um, under the law. But her intent in doing that was really to show that when we box men in and stereotype men, and also of course make assumptions and stereotypes about women, that everybody loses. And while Sack calls her death devastating, she also points to the vacancy of her Supreme Court seat. She says it's a concern and hopes more women will be on the court. It's pretty clear that when we are this close to an election, um, it really does not make sense for the current uh, president to be the one to appoint this justice until if and when he were to be reelected. Uh, it, whether it's a man or a woman, it's about supporting rights of equality. And Republican Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker also reacting to the death, saying he's urging President Trump and the U.S. Senate to wait until after November's election before electing and nominating a new justice. He says the Supreme Court is too important to rush. In Providence tonight, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.